Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to animate text in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, some of these different effects are plugins, some of the plugins are free, some of them actually do cost money, some of these are built-in effects, and some of these I'm going to do with keyframing. So let's go over the first effect, or animation, however you technically want to describe it. Now what you'll want to do is head over here um, to text and you can go over to titles and I just used um, basic titles just in case you were unaware of how to actually find text you just want to go up right here um, to go ahead and find text in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here we're just going to use a glitch title. Now I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and play through all the animations so you get a general idea of the different things you can do. Again, this is not the only thing you could do, but let's just go over and play all the different animations. So you have the glitch one, and here are a whole bunch of different animations um, that you can do in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, and that's pretty much it. These are really cool different animations. Um, so hopefully one of these um, gives you some kind of inspiration or maybe you want to figure how to use it yourself. And there we go. Those are the, all of the different um, animations. So what you want to do is head over here to text and we're going to go ahead and find glitch titles. This one is a plugin. I'll make sure to put all the links in the description below. I just use this one, um, the glitch number three. And that is the first animation. It's just a glitch text. So let's go ahead and head over to the second one. As you can see here, the text starts to shake. And this effect is called the um, earthquake effect right here. So you want to do is head over here to the effects panel. Go ahead and go to all. You could find it in all the different categories. But let's just go ahead and type up earthquake. Um, and as you can see right here. We're going to go ahead and try to find, I think I might have uh, spelled it wrong. So let's see, Earthquake, there you go. I'll make sure you spell it right. But as you can see right here, here in the effects panel, here is the Earthquake effect. Now let's go ahead and head over um, to the third effect, third animation, and that is the underwater effect. As you can see right here, that's pretty much what it looks like. And just like all the other effects, you can go ahead and mess with the size, speed, you can go ahead and refine the effect. Um, but I'm just gonna, that's just basically like the default um, setting. So let's go ahead and type in underwater. And as you can see right here, here is the underwater effect. Now let's go ahead and go on to the next one. And this one I believe is called the Lens Distortion 02. So as you can see right here, it creates this really cool lens distortion. This is the Lens Distortion 6. And then I believe this is the RGB um, Split 7. So you have this one. You have the Lens Distortion 2. Um, you have the Lens Distortion 6. And then you have the RGB Split. Um, all you want to do is head over here to the effects panel. And you want to download the glitch um, effects free. And as you can see right here, here are all the glitch. Um, the glitch. You have Lens Distortion and you have RGB Split. This is going to be in the... Um, description below the link to the download is going to be in the description below it's just the glitch effect um, pack free so let's head over to the next one and this one is just called bad tv so as you can see right here right up here bad tv let's head over to the effects panel and type in bad tv as you can see right here here it is it's just called bad tv Let's go over to the next one. And this one is just called handheld. As you can see right here, the text is just moving um, very freely. So what you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel. And again, do the same thing. You want to type over to handheld. And as you can see right here, here is the handheld effect. Now the next one that I want to go over is called um, the Pro Text Volume 6. This is from Pixel Film Studios. So let's go ahead and play it. And as you can see right here, you want to head over here and here are all of the different options for the pro volume um, 6 I'm not going to go over every single one of them I've used this, this text effects before in a video that I did like uh, six seven months ago but that's how I did this really cool effect sometimes you might not want to animate it yourself but this is a so you can go ahead and this already has um, text animating but again the link is in the description below I believe I think it's like 35 or 40 dollars um, just in case you want a really cool plugin but this is the only plugin that's gonna cost um, money 
The next thing I want to go over is keyframing. Now, as you can see right here, let's go ahead and play it. As you can see, the text rotates, the text goes off to the side, and the text goes down. Now, as you can see right here, this is just keyframing. So what we're doing is, okay, let's say I want the text um, to rotate. So what you're going to do right here is head over to the keyframe button right here. So keyframe it right here, and then go to the end and go back one as you can see right here it's keyframed at negative 360 so the next one we're going to go ahead and keyframe the position so the position is keyframed let's go to the end go back one frame and as you can see the position is keyframed at 1655 the next one go ahead and keyframe the position again and now we're going to go to the end and as you can see the y is keyframed at negative 500 so you're basically just keyframing it I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just go over just how to how to do one of them and I've already talked about this before in my I believe it was my uh, fake camera movement video but I'll go ahead and do it again uh, so let's go ahead just give you an idea of how to do it um, so let's head over to basic titles this is basically how I created every single one of these different effects all these animations let's go ahead and click on here and let's just call this we'll just call this test to make this easier um, the font that I've always used that I've, I've gone over before is called Futura so let's head over to Futura um, condensed bold and let's bring it to 250 we'll use that as an example so let's go ahead and just shorten this um, to two seconds and I'll just show you how to do it now I'm gonna just show you how to do the rotation and you can go ahead and use the same technique for every single one of them so let's head over here to the effects panel right here what you want to do is head over here so we want to so you want to keyframe um, the rotation right here I apologize you may have heard um, a bird crow so I'm doing this early in the morning so I just want to apologize for that, but you want to head over here to rotation and you want to keyframe right here. And as you can see right here, we keyframe the beginning. So you want to go to the beginning and you want you want to go to the beginning and you want to head over to keyframe. Now you want to go to the very end and use the left arrow key to go back one frame because you don't want this to show up. So you want to go back one frame and head over to the effects panel and let's just start to rotate it, something like that. Let's just use that. Um, as an example and let's go ahead and let's play it back as you can see right here there we go the text itself starts to rotate as you can see it's pretty much what you do you just go to the beginning of the text you rotate oh rather, you go to the beginning you go to keyframe and then go to the end and then do whatever you're doing with position rotation skill anything like that you want to start at the beginning keyframing and at the end you want to move it and you want to make sure you see that yellow little icon if you don't see that yellow icon then that means you have that means you haven't done it right so let's go ahead and go over again go over again every single one of them so we have um right here so we have the um, glitch text right here um we have the earthquake effect we have the underwater effect and then we have that glitch effects pack that could be in the description down below if you want to create one of these effects. And then you have the bad TV effect, you have the handheld effect, and then we have the Pro Text Volume 6 effect. And then we just keyframed um, all of these different um, text. So as you can see right here, that's pretty much it. Hopefully one of these kind of sparks some inspiration for yourself if you want to create some really cool animated text. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist. See you in the next video. Peace.